All right, just moving on from that Rigo oscilloscope, we've got a, um, a DG1022 arbitrary function generator, I think, with uh, frequency counter, etc. to go with it. And we're just going to have a look at this. Huge box with uh, nothing more than the uh, Chinese user manual and uh, mains cable. Well packaged again. Just get rid of that box. Same stuff as the oscilloscope was uh, was packed in. a look at, uh, at this. If the quality is the same as the oscilloscope I should be very uh, pleased. Obviously rubber feet top and bottom so you can uh, probably stack things on top of this if, uh, if you wanted to. Looks like the handle needs to pull out there we go, yeah, you can't just pull it, you have to pull them out on the sides. Well, that's quite a nice touch, you can get it in the position that you want. Quite a small screen, but I'm sure that's uh, plenty big enough. So we're just going to have a look at uh, this fired up. Buttons feel similar quality to the oscilloscope. This dial is not clickable. Just have a look around the back. So, USB device and host ports on this. Uh, we've got sync out, external tripper. <laughs> External trigger, modulation in, and 10 megahertz in, fused IEC, and uh, switched, and that's it. So let's get that plugged in. Let's spun that round. So we can get this a bit closer for you. Right, so let's just fire this up. something wrong with it for the moment but you've also got a soft touch on off button there. There we go. This looks like a similar arrangement where you have the menu items along here and uh, you press to adjust and then use the dial Is a little clicking noise as I'm doing this. I assume that is um, yeah I guess that's a sort of little beeper going in there. Every time you press something you can hear that. So we've got sine wave, square wave, ramp, pulse, noise, 
selected RPG waveform is negative ramp, yeah, channel 1, channel 2. I guess I really should have set the oscilloscope up at the same time. Yeah, when I push the outputs you can hear relays clicking in and out. Yeah, there's a warning tone there as well that I can't go any lower. warn me that channel 2 does not support the burst function. AM modulation. Yeah, well that's either 0 or 100%. AM frequency, FM, AM, FSK, PM. Yeah, and uh, impressive. <laughs> I'm going to get this connected up to the, uh, the scope, I think, and have a little uh, a little play with it. Uh, yeah, little help command here. Yeah, again, you can scroll through these. I don't know how you select it if that's not pushable. Uh, maybe you just scroll and then press the corresponding number. Reset instrument to its default state. Oh no, okay, you you press select here, you can move up, down. Yeah, and then to select it, you press select. Yeah, okay, and then to get out of it, you press this button here. So, yeah, again, quite heavy, feels good quality. Nice rubber feet, adjustable handle to get it in the right position uh, for your bench. Yeah, frequency counter as well. Never had a waveform generator before, so uh, this will take a little bit of playing with. Again, nice, clear display and good quality. So, yeah, quite pleased with the first look of, uh, of that as well. Catch you later.